Hey guys, and welcome back to the games. Yes, I'm really excited about this episode because I'm going to be talking during most of it, and I love to talk, and I hope you like to listen. So we're looking at the Hall class series. There's going to be five classes, A through E, each one more expensive, and we're going to talk about the money that people are complaining about, and we're also going to talk about designer interaction and uh, how you're going to have something they call grabby hands, which is great. First, let's talk about the money. Got a lot of early backers since three years back that are kind of upset. To a degree, I understand their frustration because it seems as if every day they're coming out with new ships that you pledge more money for. And I quite understand the frustration of these people who are upset. Like, let's take here Kevin Kraft. So three years later and almost $80 million, I would like to see more than just a hangar and dogfighting man uh, module. I'm getting tired to see you guys just selling ships, blah, blah, blah. Go down here, Matthias Grummer. Dear Chris Roberts and Cloud Appearing, I am a fan and supporter since founding, but lately, I'm really concerned. Should I request my money back? So <laughs> you've raised $80 million for the game and I don't see any development. So let's talk about what we do see, okay? Yes, we do see uh, the Brina Commander and the dog fighting and the, the ships being daily, which would bother me if I was a three-year backer. But, you know, let's talk about grabby hands, okay? It's, a, it's, it's an idea they're coming up with on how you can interact with every, every, piece of pixel on your screen now this takes a lot of time to develop and, and I think one of the things that people have to realize is that when you're talking about a game of this scope and magnitude they have to deliver on this page here you're going to see uh, basically how your interactions are going to work with every object in the game did you hear me people you know, no more are you going to look at just like rows of items that you can't touch or have no usability in them. Every item, every item will be used. And they talk about the different forms, player to item, player to massive item, that you can't, you know, move massive items, but you can if you have certain types of equipment. Player to containers, how they're going to have crates and what they call tanks. Crates being kind of like the catch-all, store-all things that you can put everything in even animals, which I thought was a cool idea, to tanks, which basically are your fuel or nitrogen stuff you can't touch and that are larger and you're going to need uh, some some type of uh, uh, haul or some type of equipment to, to load onto a pallet. They call it player to pallet, player to cargo base. So they're basically even giving you a manifest to view all the items in every single case, container, tank, and and what you're carrying and the reason why they're getting into this is because of the hall class ship because things are going to be stored and they have to think about inventory and items and how things are going to fit so the hall class ship reminds me similarly of the freighter class ships in eve uh, with much more versatility because they're offering you different sizes and we'll talk about the pluses and negatives on each of the hall class uh, series but first let's talk about this grabby hands here we've got boom watch this really cool boom grab a cup there you go. That's a cup. That's an item. That's a small item. Boom. I can drop it. I can also pick it back up. And I can place it down. Okay. That, that's a cool demonstration. And you can pick it back up again. And then you can put it in a shelf. And you can continually pick it back up. Cool, cool, cool. Next. All right. Great. Two-handed objects. Okay. So now you got bigger objects. Can you, can you interact with those? Yes, you can. Here. Boom. That's a little sloppy. But they'll, they'll clean it up as they design it. And there they go, picking up the box, putting it back down, and it continually being in the same place until you pick it back up again or somebody else does. Coin flips with money, okay? This is all going to be interactive types of items, boom, boom, boom. I don't necessarily think that's as important. I think that's more like a macro to me. Not a big deal, okay? Usable items, okay? Usable items like weapons, okay? So you pick up the gun, but then you can use the gun, okay? So you're picking up the gun. And then boom, you're shooting the gun. Well, I don't see anything coming out, but there you go, holstered. And very cool. Very cool concept. Love it. Let's what's next? So you've got other items that you can also use besides uh, weaponry. Uh, you know, I'd imagine there'd be keys, uh, computers, stuff like that. Uh, but then you've got items and containers. So you go down here and you're talking about cargo nodes. Uh, they're gonna develop the system basically when you open large tanks or large uh, cases where you can put multiple items inside of them very cool see how basically he's picking up the item and he's storing them 
inside the item for use of uh, of sale i'd imagine i mean this is how cool to deliver to a corporation that needs weapons selling them boom you guys for those people that are saying they are frustrated i understand but look at the magnitude and scope of what i am looking at here i mean if for, for people that are saying there's no progress in the game if you want a game that's amazing then please be patient. I know three years is a long time. And you're like, you know what, Al? Screw you, man. I've been waiting three years. And <laughs> I get it. But come on, for for what this is going to be, don't start getting negative. You know, I if you couldn't afford it, don't put the money in it. <laughs> they got the money. It's not a money issue. It's a time issue. Okay, don't press the guys for time because then you get a shitty product. Okay, let them take their time and design it the way they want to design it. I don't care if it takes another three years. I really don't. I don't. I I don't. Because I know what this man is capable of. So that, anyway, going down to the direction uh, decorations here with the grabby hands. Okay, so look, moving a table. You got a desk, something that you need in the office. Okay. All right, great. There you go. You're moving it around. Look at this. I mean, fantastic. In your ship. In fact, this looks like one of the insides of a ship. Uh, not sure. Probably the hull class. <laughs> you know? And I love the modeling. I love what they're doing here. They're creating with the hull class basically a workman's ship. Ship. A, wor a work. A blue collar guys ship a trucker a trader you know if you're a trader you can trade on your own or you can hire other people to trade for you this opens up trade just spectacularly so i think it's great let's look at the uh, graph pallets man you know give me a break they're not they're not progressing look they, they it's like a grav i love it you know gravity pallets you put put the items on the gravity pallet and okay it's gonna float we all know that but let's just watch it gun you know so they're showing you all the different types of items you can put on this guys this is fantastic absolutely fan okay we get it we get it get it lift lift it up <laughs> yeah there you go okay boom and there you go and they stay routed to that table it's fantastic cargo bays they're, they talk about locking plates uh, where your cargo bay is basically your stasis is on so things aren't jostling around when it's off you can you can mess with it very cool ship cargo interaction I mean g give me a break they're not progressing give me a break they're not progressing on to the hull ships I, it's just making me upset <laughs> now here's the hull class series these are out of order I don't know why it does it every time it does this but this basically is showing you the range of pricing from all the hull type ships Ranging from $60 all the way up to $550 just for the concept. Now, this is where I get a little critical, guys. These concept sales, I would wait till the ships are finished. This does look a little tacky. You guys need to stop selling the concept and you need to sell us the whole ship when it's done. Don't, don't sell us the ship before it's made. It's like me buying a car from a manufacturer when they haven't made it yet. And then finding out that the car is a piece of shit after I've just paid for the car. The, of course, in, in, in um, Robert Space World, you can exchange it for another type of ship, which is always nice. <laughs> Not so in the real world all the time. So let's look at the particulars of the Hall A. Okay. And I know this is a different style video, and I'm not quite used to this because I like to fly the ships before I give my opinions on them. But I'll just give the opinions on the concept of them. Uh, the Hall A, it's the most, you know, it's a small guy. It's the small little trucker. You're just starting out. Uh, beginning type of trade. Let's see here what we got. There's your technicals. Uh, you know, it looks like up here you're going to be flying the ship. Maybe some space, living space back here. And then you got your cargo back here, which is still fairly good. Let's look at the technical overview of the Hall A. So you can have up to 75 cargo capacity on this. Not amazing. I'm not really impressed by that. Other uh, ships have much more. One person, 22 meters. I really don't think it's worth it. Let's let's move on here. If you're getting this type of ship, don't even bother. Other ships can actually hold more than this uh, and aren't giant targets. Let's see here. 
Go back here, and we'll go to the hull B, which is next. Boom. And I just, I'm curious now. I just want to go straight to the technicals and let's see here what we got. Uh, TR8 engine, so rather large ships, 600 cargo capacity. Now we're talking, we're getting a little bit better. Uh, still one person crew, 49 meters, fairly large ship, two gimbal spots to upgrade. They're not sure about the size of the shield, but let me tell you what, it better be shielded very well or I'll be upset. There's no sense in spending this kind of money in a, in a sitting duck that doesn't have shields. Um, Here's the concept, you see it stretches. It is very cool concept that these things uh, close and it opens up trade uh, amazingly well. I, I, I think the, the thing, the, what it's introducing is trade, you know, and, and uh, corps are gonna need these for, you know, keeping their stock uh, up to date and their players equipped. Very cool. Let's go on to the C ship here da, da, da. where's the c to e i'm i cannot wait to get to the to the e because the e just looks fantastic giant sitting target though pretty cool upgraded look uh let's get right to the technicals again wow look at all the engines on that baby that is crazy you got six tr8s power plants got to be big and, and the shields got to be big i mean it's an s7 shield so you know you're not punching through that uh at all unless you've got a, a, a very well equipped super hornet or a couple super hornets depending but that's what i'm saying i hope they're listening to me i would hope that this ship has a lot of shielding uh and three person crew on that cargo capacity up to 4800 length going to 105 very very cool uh let's see here we see the the concept art on it it's a little bit larger very cool Let's go back to the whole D. 350 dollars, man. Just for the concept. A little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. And also very cool. It's folding back up. Uh, here we go. Technicals. Five person crew with 21,600 capacity. This is kind of whole C through whole E is where I'd suggest in buying the ship. And this isn't gonna be, personally, I think for the single player uh, person to buy. Like if you're buying this and you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna be a trader with this ship, you might be wrong. You might wanna stick with the A and B class if you're going with just trader. When you go to C to E, you're carrying a lot of money and you're a sitting target. TR10 stacked like a crazy banshee. 21,600 cargo capacity, five person crew, insane. And lastly, you have the Hall E class type ship, which is pretty much the big guy. $550. Wow. <laughs> like, guys should not be buying this unless you're in a large corp that has a lot of protection. Let's look at the specs here. We might be interrupted by my girlfriend who just came down here. <laughs> but that's fine. We're going to get through it. Right, Chels? <laughs> Uh, the Hall E type ship, and they even talk about it to be careful when buying this ship. Because, I mean, you know, you're putting that kind of money in there. You want to make sure that you realize you're a large sitting duck. Uh, but very cool because this is, this is relatable to EVE and the Obelisk type ship, the freighter class type ships. And you don't want to be flying this unless you have a lot of friends. Uh, the technicals on it, there's the concept art, very cool. Um, We'll get into the technical shortly, but this thing's just absolutely massive. And with this type of ship, you're carrying a lot of money. Uh, TR-13 engines, full stack, got 10 of them. And again, shield better be huge on this because you're not going to be able to... I mean, you got lots of gimbal mounts on here, but I don't know how effective that's going to be. S4, S3 size. Uh, gimbal mounts eight so I mean it does have a lot of gimbal mounts on it but your line of sight when you're firing from your turrets is going to be covered from all the cargo so you have to be really careful 153 154,000 cargo capacity five person crew 372 meters in length so this ship is absolutely massive uh, and I think the Hall type class series ship is is a really cool idea because it opens up trade like I said before and uh, boy, I'd hate to be the guy flying that 
that actually get shot down. Like you, your name is Mud, and nobody's ever gonna like you again. <laughs> and they'll they'll probably say you owe the corp this amount if you blow up. <laughs> but um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this series. Um, I hope I explained to you the whole series. I wish that they had the ship available to fly instead of just selling the idea of it, which I think, again, is a little bit, you know, kind of out there. I, they, personally, they need to finish the ship and then you buy the ship. Uh, buying the concept even is, is a stretch even for me, even though I believe in Chris Roberts and know he's a great designer and... and fulfills his promises still that makes me a bit nervous i'm not plopping down any money like that in a game where you know here's the idea of the ship <laughs> you know it's like i got some land in florida but anyway be patient <laughs> chelsea's laughing at me and i hope you like watching the games and if you want to hear more chelsea go to our channel and then we do a video called i am bread there which is really pretty fun and a good time. All right, guys. See you later.